I've given my life to the blue coat, really. <laughs> The Blue Coat's unique because it's got this history of combining heritage with progressive art. The beginnings of the Art Centre really goes back to 1907 when a group of artists called the Sandon Studio Society, which was a breakaway art school from the university, set up home here in these empty school buildings. And they established a community that we still have today. It is this great sort of crossroads where lots of things happen and chance encounters happen. And somebody said once, it's where the avant-garde meets Village Hall. And I really like that idea, that it is a sort of Village Hall, it's a community centre, it's a place for local people to come and meet and hang out. And when you come here, you're going to be exposed to progressive art ideas, you know, new thinking, whether it's in literature or music or visual art. I just love coming in because it's a building that has this great sort of serenity, but behind that exterior, it's a very dynamic place. It's always changing. Will we be here in 300 years' time is a good question, isn't it? I think we will be as long as we have artists at our heart, as long as we keep our doors open and accessible and make the arts attractive and interesting for people. I think we will still be here doing what we're doing. Despite everything happening in the world, I think you know, that the culture is really leading the way in, in terms of the city's regeneration. Mm -hmm.